today we will see how to evaluate this integral integral from 0 to pi x sin x dx in the traditional approach you may consider using integrations by parts however in this video I'm going to discuss a new approach without wasting time on integrations by parts this is a special integration which is a definite integral of course and that definite integral has a lower limit of 0 whenever your lower limit of a definite integral is 0 yesterday we discussed an effective theorem what was the theorem if I have to integrate from 0 to a fixed upper limit a the function fx with respect to x this will also be equal to integral same limits 0 to a same function f but x will be changed to a minus x and dx so let's see that theorem one more time if i have to integrate a function from 0 to a it will also be equal to integral 0 to a that same function but this x will be replaced by a minus x Today I'm not going to discuss the proof of this theorem because during our last video we discussed the complete proof. So today I'm going to directly apply this theorem and solve this given problem. Alright, the given integral I'm going to label this as i. So my task is to find i. I'm going to label this integral as number 1. Now I'm going to apply this theorem. Therefore the given integral i will also be equal to from 0 to pi x will be replaced by the upper limit minus x the upper limit is equal to pi so this first x right here becomes pi minus x pi minus x and then i have the function sin x function stays the same as sine. right here i have x and that will be replaced by pi minus x and then we have dx well, of course, we can simplify this one a little more. My integration i will be equal to integral from 0 to pi. I have pi minus x. How about sine pi minus x? Sine pi minus x is equal to sine x, if you still remember trick. I'm going to label this integration as integration number 2. Now, I have two equations for the same integration i. What I'm going to do next is, I'm going to add these two equations. If I add those two equations, on the left hand side, I will have 2i. On the right hand side, I will have x sin x and pi minus x times sin x. Those two functions will be added. So let me write it as that. We have 2i on the left hand side, integral, same limits, 0 to pi. The first function is x sin x and then I have pi minus x times sin x dx. Alright, now inside this bracket I can do some further simplifications. As you can see x sin x and negative x sin x will be cancelled. Therefore 2i will now be equal to integral from 0 to pi just pi sin x dx of course I can write down this pi outside of the integral because pi is a constant let me do that 2i equals pi integral 0 to pi sin x dx now what's the integration of sin x integration of sin x is equal to negative cosine x Therefore, we can write the answer nicely. 2i equals pi times negative cosine x. The limits are from 0 to pi. Alright. Now, 2i should be equal to pi times negative cosine pi. Cosine pi is equal to negative 1. That minus cosine 0. Cosine 0 is equal to 1. Alright. Now, we can simplify 2i equals pi times 2 to pi therefore our integral i should be equal to pi so we are done i was equal to integral 0 to pi x 
sin x dx and that's equal to pi. All right, no integrations by parts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.